G'day guys, it's Apple Master here today, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to rank up super fast, like extra fast, in um, new Call of Duty Ghosts Extinction mode. Now, um, before this video starts, I know this is going to benefit you, and if it does in any way in ranking up in Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm going to be explaining the ranking system from top to bottom, inside out, uh, so far, only two days into the game or whatever like that. And um, if this video did help you, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Apple Mastered. I'll be your number one source for the Extinction Ranking Up system and how to rank up super fast. Do that. And second, please leave this video a like rating. Smack that like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Get this video around to other people and show them how the ranking system works and how to rank up super fast. So, um... First of all guys, I'm going to be showing you um, the first part of this, which is the actual class setup. Now, um, before we get into the strategy, of course, extinction works different to zombies and class setup is vital in order to um, go well in the actual game. So the first thing you want to have, to, you're going to want to do is um, have your pistol as the P22 pistol. Um, the, you're going to have regular ammo. So the P22 pistol with the regular ammo. For the team support, I suggest having the armor. And strike package is the IMS. Um, for the equalizer, I reckon um, portable minigun turret, probably. But you can change that around to suit you. Uh, the weapon specialist class. Um, now, the reason you're going to want to do the weapon specialist class is because it deals 20% more bullet damage. And if you fully upgrade... Of course, dealing more damage is vital. After upgrading everything in the weapon specialist class, you will get up to 50% more we more weapon damage, basically bullet damage, so killing aliens a crap load faster, which is the key to ranking up, obviously. Um, so the next thing you want to do is upgrade your regular ammo in-game, so in-game upgrade, not the out-of-game. So upgrade your ammo instead of spending heaps of money on ammo. So you could spend heaps of money on buying extra ammo, but what I suggest to do is upgrade your ammo so your ammo holds, has a bigger capacity. So, um, of course, allows you to carry more ammo so it um, don't have to spend as much money on ammo. So, um, getting onto the strategy now, guys. That is the class setup. Of course, um, perfect class for this strategy and for ranking up. So, in this strategy, basically what you have to do is at the end of the, there's three sections in the map in extinction mode. There's the first section where the first hive is, second section and third section. And they get harder by difficulty. So the first section is of course the easiest, then second is the hard, second hardest, and of course third is the hardest. And in the third section um, you have to run to of course to escape. And um, basically what you're going to want to do is um, Sorry, what you're going to do is run around this uh, first section and basically just let the um, helicopter circle around and don't shoot the hive. And if you don't shoot the hive and just basically let these scorpions um, shoot at the uh, helicopter, then the helicopter won't destroy it and you just be able to get unlimited kills down here on easy on section one. So, um, of course, just shooting it here to speed up the process, but you can not shoot them and um, get all the XP. So, um, of course, don't shoot the hive, and these scorpion zombies that you are um, probably all familiar with if you've played the game, uh, they go up the top on rocks and mountains and hives or whatever, and they shoot these um, acid at you, and they are awesome for killing because they give you 300 XP or $300 or whatever like that, and they spawn like every five seconds or whatever like that. So you get 300 XP for that, and plus you get, um, I think, the regular 90 XP for these regular aliens that come at you, like, 24-7. Um, so, of course, you can deploy your ammo um, on your gun and just keep picking up ammo and just keep going and going and maybe reset, start if you want to, and keep doing this over and over again, and I'll guarantee you, you'll be able to get super fast um, RP, not RP, sorry, what am I talking about? Super fast XP and rank up to the max level in um, Call of Duty Ghosts, which is extinction mode which is level 30 so um so if you want to get even more xp and you're actually experienced at the game so you believe well i'm fairly decent at the game if you um don't know just you can give it a try if you want to but safest is this first place here because not everyone's experienced at the game yet really they're not that good at it 
and everyone's getting used to it so you may as well use this method but if you want to earn even more XP what I suggest doing is going to the second location and doing the same thing at the second location this will be a lot harder you'll be getting a lot more aliens and you'll be getting a lot more XP basically a lot more score so this ranking system works to benefit better players so that means the higher you go up doing this method method uh, basically the better more score you're going to get but of course it's going to be a lot harder and therefore um, yeah you're gonna be a lot harder to get the score anyway if you really think you're confident with it I don't know um, if you think you're confident with this ranking up playing the game I suggest doing the third section but do beware you're going to get rhino um, aliens and everything running at you so it'll be pretty hectic but if you can manage to hold off and do the same thing on this third section you're gonna be getting a shitload of um, XP that's for sure because um, there's going to be so many different aliens, and those rhinos are worth so much XP. I'm not sure how much, but they're worth a lot. Anyway, getting into the ranking system now, guys, explaining it in depth. Of course, as I've said before, level 30 is the max rank um, before you prestige. Now, um, once you prestige, you get five different relic tokens. So in Ghosts Extinction, there is five different prestiges. So I think five is the maximum because, of course, there's five different relics. So um, each time you prestige, it basically increases the difficulty of the game. But with these relics, you can um, five prestige relics. You can um, unlock different um, parts to how do you say different challenges in that are each relic token. And when you get one prestige, like you go to first prestige, then you um, get one uh, challenge, which I'm going to explain later on in the video. And then two, you get one and two. And then three, you get one, two, three. And then four, you get one, two, three, four. And then, of course, five, you get one, two, three, four, and five. And have them all active. And it's going to be the ultimate challenge. But, of course, it's going to give you ultimate XP. So, basically, the more you have these relic token ha uh, tokens on and the more challenges you do with these tokens, basically, if you complete the token challenges, you're going to get a super load of XP and it's going to reward you totally. But, of course... By then, you need to be good at the game because these challenges aren't easy and um, you need to, of course, be pretty experienced. So, um, anyway, the ultimate mission is escape with all five relic tokens on, which will be completely ridiculously hard, guys. But, of course, it's going to gain you the most XP possible in the game. So, technically, that is the most easiest heart no easiest way to rank up the most XP way of course but I wasn't gonna make a video just on that because not everyone can have all five rel relic tokens attached at one time and be um, doing that mission because it's simply right at the end of the game so you get rewarded at the end of the game with all that XP if you manage to complete all five relics on in a single game that's when you get to a prestige five so, um, of course, it gives, makes the game harder, but it gives you more score. So now I'm going to be explaining to you guys the um, relics, exactly what there are, each five. So um, the first relic, which you unlock at Prestige 1, is the um, Take More Damage, it's called. And as it says in the description, I'm reading off the description, aliens do increase damage with their attacks. So, um, of course, it's, it's all a challenge, guys. Remember that, and it's getting you more score. So the aliens are going to be stronger, basically. So um, that happens after Prestige 1. When you get to Prestige 2, you're going to have both one, the normal take more damage, and the second one, which is called Pistols Only. And as description says, weapon purchases are not allowed, obviously. So that means making it starting to get real hard now, guys, because you're only allowed to use your pistol and these um, aliens are getting more um, stronger. So you can sort of get where we're going with the system, ranking system, as I said before. It's rewarding you on score as to um, how good you are at the game because not many people will be able to do this. So if you complete that and you get to let, um, Prestige 3, you will have 1, 2, and 3 all active at the same time. So this one is called Earn and Carry Less Cash. So, um, sorry, it's called Smaller Wallet, and the description is Earn and Carry Less Cash. So, um, of course, meaning, as the, as the description says, you're not going to have much money, and you're not going to be able to buy those upgrades and that which you may be relying on when you're in the lower classes. So, um... That's the third prestige one, so if you get to that, you're going to have all three there. 
Um, the fourth prestige one is called Mortal, and the description is no, cla no class section selection available. So um, probably running off a default pistol class here, guys, and you're going to do all this challenge. It's going to be completely hectic. So this is really prestige four for the real good players. So um, and by then, if you use my method, like you run around those things, you'd be so used to killing aliens. You know all the tactics about everything like that, and you'd just be generally good at the game. So um, and the final fifth uh, prestige relic is called do less damage and. That means inflict less damage against the aliens. Um, so that means they're stronger and you do less damage with your pistols. So if you have all five of these on at once, you're going to be... It's going to be really hard. But of course, you're going to be getting so much XP. And it is literally the ultimate way to ranking up if you get all most of these um, on. So the more relics you put on... Um, have as prestige tokens the definite more you're going to be getting leveling up score so it's a challenge but it's going to be rewarding anyway for those of you who are wondering it's not like the prestige system in multiplayer or any prestige system we're used to you don't need to worry about it once you get to level 30 the next level above 30 will be prestige one so you don't need to actually prestige all you do is just continue playing normally as using my method and then it will we're using the method and then basically what it will do is rank you up to um prestige one and you won't lose anything you won't lose any of your guns you won't lose any of your attachments you won't lose any um class setups or anything like that so you just basically keep playing and get these five relics um i think that's pretty much it guys so it's been a long video to cover in the ranking system but if you did enjoy it and it did help you please click that subscribe button it would greatly i would greatly appreciate it i will be your number one source for the extinction ranking system keeping you guys up to date on how to start stay up there and how to, how to get up the prestiges and reaching max rank so thanks for watching guys please click that like button if you um if this video did help you also and um follow my um uh facebook page also those please take three seconds of your time before you go and try this and rank up and subscribe to my channel like this video and like my facebook page it would help me out a load thanks for watching guys see you in my next one of my extinction ranking up videos or GTA 5 videos. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you in the next one.